Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you are doing well. So today we are making a new game. But first, I will give you an introduction about the scratch. So this is our code area. This is our code blocks. This is our stage. This is our sprite and this is our sprite area. So let's get started. So first thing first, we will delete this sprite. After that, we will upload our own big drops, which is the first one. Okay that's fit right in okay so let's delete this backdrop and then go to code area so the first sprite will be our ground so let's go to sprites and we will add or upload our ground okay let's put it right here and then go to costume convert it into vector let's put it easily that's great now we will go to code area and upload another sprite which is our play button okay it's a bit bigger so let's decrease its size to 20 let's put it in the bottom middle after that the first code will be whenever i move into the play button it should increase its size so for that go to events block when the flag has been clicked okay let's increase its size to or zoom out so it will be easy for you okay so when the flag has been clicked then go to control block use forever we will use if then or else after that go to sensing block we will use touching mouse pointer let's zoom out a bit okay so touching mouse pointer after that go to logs block we will use set size to like for example 30 and then we will use make a duplicate let's put it right here the same 20 let's see that's great so the second code will be whenever I click on this it should make a sound so for that we will use go to sound area we will upload a sound don't worry I will give you the links in the description so you can also use it for yourself so it will be our point sound okay let's go to code area we will go to when the when this sprite is clicked what it should do it should make a sound so we will use this sound after that it should hide so for that we will use the hide and then we will add some broadcast so for that we will go to events block after that we will use broadcast like new message which we will call play okay let's see the overall results so in the next step we will upload another sprite which will be our first interface okay let's rearrange its location that's better okay so the first code will be whenever the flag has been clicked it should appear right here in the first place along with the play button so then go to events flow when the flag has been clicked after that go to logs flow okay let's use show so it will show whenever the flag has been clicked after that we will again use the looks and we will use switch costume to start after that we will use go to front layer okay so when i receive play it will hide so for that go to events block okay we'll use when i receive play it will hide so for that go to looks block we will use hide let's see so here the play button did not appear so let's go to play sprite okay let's add something go to motion block let's use point in 90 direction after that go to looks block it will show and it will go to go to the front layer let's see now now that's better so now we will use some players to play so for that go to upload sprite and then we will use our hero which will be this one let's put it right here so it will have some costumes so for that we will upload its costumes okay then go to code area so the first code will be it should change some costumes so for that go to events block 
when the flag has been clicked after that go to control block we'll use forever and now we will add some weight like 0.3 seconds after that go to logs block we will use next costume let's see so that's better and now for the left and right movements we will use go to events block okay when i receive play go to logs block we will use show after that we will use go to front layer and then go to motion block we will use this coordination and then we will use go to forever go to control block sorry and we will use forever after that we will use if then and now let's go to sensing block we will use some keys like for example the right arrow key after that go to motion block we will use point in 90 direction and then we will use change x by 10 but we will um, duplicate okay let's change to left arrow key and we will use negative sign okay and we will use negative sign also let's see that's great so in the next step we will use some background sound so for that go to sound area we will upload a sound which will be our background sound let's go to code area then go to events block okay we will use when i receive play after that go to control block we will use forever then go to sound block we will use this sound let's see that's more better and now we will upload another sprite which will be our sword k and we will have its costume like go to upload costume which is this one okay let's increase its size to 300 okay that's better so the code will be simply let's go to code area so our hero should avoid the flying swords towards him so for that the first code will be we will use our own variable okay which will call score okay after that go to events block so whenever the flag has been clicked in the first place it will hide after that when we play the button it will show so for that we will use when the flag has been clicked go to variables block it will hide my variable which is our score after that it will set my variable which will be the same score to zero let's put that side ahead okay so the code for the sword will be easy it will start from randomly from the sky and go towards the ground so for that go to control block we will use when i start as a clone after that go to logs block we will use show okay after that go to motion block we will use this coordination but we will go to operators block we will use pick some randomness okay which will be 240 to minus 240 okay that's better so this code mean it will appear in the sky between 240 and negative 240 and go towards the ground so for that go to logs block we will use a switch costume to danger after that it should wait for one second and then it will use go to logs block switch costume to sword after that go to control block we will use repeat until it touches the ground so for that go to sensing block we will use touching what the ground okay so the speed will be go to motion block we will use change y by 10 okay so let's change it into negative and we will use some speed for 35 okay let's see that's better let's add some sound so for that go to sound area we'll upload a sound which is chunk sound okay that's better then go to code area go to sound block and we will use play start sound chunk after that go to variables block we will use change my score by one whenever it touches the ground okay after that it should wait for a second and delete this clone so for that go to control block 
it will give us a wait for one second and then it should delete this clone okay so this set will be completed by the third code in which it will hide and make a clone of himself and reappear and go towards the ground so for that go to events block we will use when i receive play after that go to logs block it will hide and then go to variables block it will show my variable which is our score after that go to control block we will use forever and then it will wait like for example two seconds and it will make a clone of himself okay create a clone of myself let's see that's great let's put the score right here so for the last right we will use some help okay which is this one let's put it right here okay and it has a lot of costumes so for that go to costume area we will upload its other things okay that's better click on this one then go to code area let's decrease its size to 80 so looks more realistic and let's put it right here so the code will be whenever the sword touches our hero it should remove one health so for that go to our hero okay after that go to variables and we will make another variable which will be called life let's hide okay after that go to events block when the flag has been clicked after that go to variables block set life to zero and then go to control block we will use forever and if then okay then go to sensing block we will use touching what the sword okay so whenever it touches the sword it should change its health so for that go to variables block change life by one which is our health so it has three hearts so for that go to control block we will use repeat but for three times and then go to logs block we will use hide okay and then it should wait for some time like for example 0 0.3 seconds and then it will it will show okay so let's use show so for completing this set let's go to hard sprite so the code is simple whenever the sword touches the hero it should change its costume so for that go to events block when i receive play after that go to looks block we will use switch costume to first heart okay after that go to control block we will use forever okay if then okay then go to operators block we will use this one and then go to variables block we will use our life and let's add one okay and then go to looks block we will change the costume to two let's make some duplicates okay let's change to two and change its costume and make another duplicate it will be three and the last one it will be switch costume to part four and now let's add some sounds so for that go to sound area and we will upload game over sound okay then go to code area and then go to sound block we will use game over sound and the game should stop so for that go to control block we will use stop all let's see so now it's all working let's add some broadcast for that go to events block we will use broadcast game over and now the only last step remaining so for that go to start sprite and then go to costume area we will upload the last thing okay which is our game over okay so this is our interface whenever the game is finished this will be our interface so for that go to code area go to events block when i receive game over what it should do go to looks block it should show so we will use show then it should switch costume to game over and then it should go to the front layer let's use this one and the game should stop so for that go to control block we will use stop all 
Let's see the overall results. This game is absolutely amazing. If you like this kind of contents and you want it in the future, please make sure to like and subscribe. That will encourage us to make more contents for you. Have a nice day and goodbye.